What happened is that uh, in the case of one of the 22-year-olds, Jonathan Bowling, he had pleaded guilty to murder some time ago, uh, just a few weeks, in fact, before this trial started, having given the police in interviews no help whatsoever and said that he didn't want to comment when asked any questions by them during their investigation. So he was given a uh, 25 years minimum term of a life uh, sentence because it was said that he was the person who led this attack. He was the one who carried a pickaxe handle. Uh, he was the one who, it was known for sure, inflicted blows on Alan Greaves as he walked towards his church uh, as an organist for Midnight Mass, as he had done for 40 years of his 68-year uh, life. Uh, in the case of Ashley Foster, who denied murder, uh, he was found guilty of manslaughter. Uh, the judge accepted that there were some mitigating circumstances in his case, uh, most notably that he was heavily influenced by Jonathan Bowling, who was a very close friend. Uh, he had claimed during the trial that he was afraid of Jonathan Bowling, and that's why he went along with it. The judge didn't accept that, uh, but he gave the uh, defendant in that a nine years, said that he would serve half of it, and we're just about to hear now from Alan Greaves' widow, Maureen. Just to say, I really am extremely pleased with the result uh, today. Uh, to think Ashley's got nine years is the very best that we could have got within the circumstances of the manslaughter. And to think that Jonathan's got 25 minimum and he probably will never come out, I really am wonderfully pleased with the result. And can I say thank you to all of you because you've all been marvellous to me. You've been very generous in your spirit to me, so thank you all of you how you've treated me. Thank you also for your transparency throughout the, the trial and the way that you've dealt with the media. Can I ask you, oh, thank you. it was revealed today that one of the defendants, Jonathan Bowling, has written a letter of remorse, a handwritten letter yeah. that was written just a few hours before you face sentence. Today. Yes, yeah. What do you think about that gesture? Will you read the letter? I've not decided. I've decided not to read the letter. I've given it to Mr. Fenwick to hold on my behalf, just in case the day comes when I do want to read it. But I think to put it into my hands on the day that it was going to get sentenced. I didn't think it was appropriate. I think if he was going to write me a letter, he should have wrote it a long time ago. How do you feel about them? Well, I've said so much about them, and, uh, and I'll stay with what I've already said, you know. The two men made in God's image, and God never intended this life for them. So, as I love and leave you, I do hope that they too come to know God's love for themselves.